There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Today, it's an NL Central Division matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds are looking to collect their eighth win in a row. Next. Play ball. Full, full. Take the break. Coming to the plate now, that Paul Campos, and he could give his guys an early Whoa. lead if he can come through Whoa. here. Oh, and two. Here it is. Two, Hit it two, third. Two, right two. to him. On the first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Bottom of the first, straight ahead. We're scoreless on MLB Network. So striding in, that number 87. Third. He's driven in three baseman. runs on three number hits so far in the series. Here comes the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground and just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Hey, that ball was hit hard. Good job. And as and you see play. right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. And we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think the anybody gets him to lose his toe hold right now. First and second now, one man out. Bounce to first. And that's under his glove. Oh, he picked his head up and it's into right field. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line him. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. And able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Good. The center fielder, Phillip Irvin. 3-2 with the bases loaded. Popped him up. Wisdom has room in foul territory. Two gone. For the moment here in Cincy, let's take a glance at the Reds starting lineup in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak. Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to batting get this step. W. The right fielder. Now Number batting, Aristides Aquino. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. On to first, and the Reds rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Three left for Cincinnati, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Rosario. Shot to third and handled for the first out. Ready now for Cincinnati. Number 87, Number 87 batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound.
Here comes the first pitch. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. You can kiss it goodbye. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Reds hit the scoreboard. It's now a three to one ball game. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. At the plate, Austin Gumber. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. But he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Stepping in, Patrick Wisdom. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 2 2. Hit on the ground to third. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cards strand a couple as the lead remains three to one. Ready now, number 87. Now He's off to number a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Boy, this guy right here on that last A-B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, what if else? he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Again, a nice clean base hit. His third of the game. Boy, that line hey, drive was a blur oh, off the job. bat. Which means it's definitely worth looking at on show track. And how about this for an exit velocity? 116 miles an hour. That's right up there with the fastest we've seen. So a runner at first now with now nobody out. Left and field. into bed next will be the David. outfielder David Dahl. Dahl. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. One there. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. That's good athleticism. Digging in, number 87. It's been a nice red. game for him. Three hits, baseman. including a homer number to this point. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Now here it comes. This is in the air to right. Renfro has a read on it. One down. Seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a street like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. The Cincinnati Reds get the win on the heels of four home runs.
Wandy Peralta gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Amir Garrett hammers down the save, his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.